is recognizing how essential and inherent mobility is in our everyday lives. How you know, we feel when we're not able to move um, and how you know, restrictions on travel and transport and all of these things have really reshaped our world. And so I'm hoping that with that, we start to have a more kind of global look at these issues, a more collective understanding of environment and migration. I'm very hopeful that what's happening with coronavirus and borders closing and people feeling both constrained as well as some people forced to move before borders close uh, can translate to more empathy towards migrants, refugees in general, but also towards climate migrants or climate refugees because they also feel like climate change is this invisible force that is acting on them and stopping them from doing something. It's, you can't just name an enemy, you can't name this force, you can't see it, right? Uh, and that's very similar. There are many who are saying that the COVID crisis should be a kind of warning or an alarm signal about the future catastrophes that will be induced by climate change. And when we say that, we still consider that climate change is a kind of future risk that might only materialize in the future. We do not realize that this is already a reality in many places of the world. And similarly, speaking from Europe, uh, we started to take this virus into serious consideration from the moment that there were people dying of the disease in Italy. Uh, as long as the virus seemed contained in China, nobody was really treating it seriously. People were saying, well, it's just a little flu. Uh, we tend to be concerned with issues only when there are dead people at our borders. And I think that we are completely blind about what's happening beyond our borders. <laughs>